guys, so today's video is going to be lipstick dupes. So drugstore or cheaper alternatives to high-end lipstick colours. So it's not the same brand but the exact same colour and that way you can save money. Hence the gorgeous 90s lip liner look. I've just got nothing on my lips besides a bit of lip liner to prepare myself for these swatches. So we'll just drum, drum, we'll just jump straight into it. The first dupe I have here is not only for a MAC lipstick but this is actually a limited edition colour so great if you're wanting to get your hands on this but you couldn't. This is a Lustre lipstick, it's called Girl Next Door and it was from the Archie's Girls collection. It's the Betty lipstick, I think there might have been two Betty lipsticks but this is one of them. It's like a really light shimmery pink colour. How I'm going to do this video is the right side of my face is going to be high end. So this side of my lips and then the left side of my face is going to be drugstore. So you can really compare them on the lips and see how similar they are. I just thought to myself I shouldn't have put lip liner on before this colour because it's really sheer. So Girl Next Door is on this side. And the dupe I have for this is called Play With Me from Chi Chi. If you watched my Chi Chi lip swatches video you will have remembered in that video I said this was a dupe for this but I wanted to show you guys so you can actually see how similar they are. So again this is called Play With Me. So there they are on my lips. They basically are the same colour in different packagings. So if you weren't able to get a hold of this, this one is really nice. I know frost lipsticks aren't for everyone. I personally love this shade of frost lipstick so thought I'd show it to you guys for those of you who like this kind of lipstick. The second dupe I have here is one of the YSL Rouge Volupt lipsticks, probably not pronouncing that right. I don't know any French whatsoever, but they're the ones in this kind of packaging. It's the best packaging out of them all in my opinion, it's absolutely stunning. This one is the shade 7 and it's a really light baby pink colour. And one from my collection that I have discovered is so similar is the NYX Round Lipstick in Strawberry Milk. These are like... Four or five New Zealand dollars off Beauty Joint, and this is about 70 or 68 or something New Zealand dollars, so massive price difference. I know these are super expensive overseas as well, so this is a nice find. I thought I'll swatch them both for you so you can have a look. It's hard to apply because mine's kind of melted. The similarity in formula of these is also incredible. I'm not a massive fan of this formula, it's very slippery so creamy you don't need to build up a few layers um, it just goes on so opaque straight away which is great but it also doesn't have great lasting power and this is very similar it's really slippery very opaque so if you like the formula of this the formula of this is extremely similar they're just so similar and as you can see the color is the exact same as well just finished doing my lip before I keep talking Again, you would never know I had two different colours on my lips, I could leave the house like this. Formula is the exact same. I actually kind of prefer this one. Obviously this one completely trumps the next one with packaging. It's stunning, like so decadent, but I actually prefer the formula of this one funnily enough because it doesn't have a really strong, pungent, floral scent. You know how um, expensive products can be, they smell very floral and heavy, this doesn't really have a sense, so it's almost better in a sense. Okay, next dupe I have here is one from MAC, this is Flesh Pot. You guys know one of my, or well, pretty much my favourite nude from MAC, great for paler skin. And I noticed the other day when I was swatching these together that Skimpy from Colourpop is pretty much the exact same colour. I will say, unlike the last two, there is a slight difference in the formula for these two. So with this one, I don't know if it will pick up too well on camera, this side is definitely more glossy, more sticky just because of the formula of this. It's got quite a pinky undertone, it's a nice light nude and they're the exact same colour. I don't know if this was based off Flesh Pot from MAC or something. This one is $5, this one is $40 in New Zealand so my lips look really dry and disgusting. I'm really sorry, I'm actually quite sick at the moment, I've got a very sore throat and I think because I'm fluey, my lips are really dry. They're not usually this dry, but we're gonna truck on. So the next one is my Chanel lipstick in Rouge Coco 49 Liaison. I've talked about this in videos before. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love everything about this lipstick. 
and a really similar one I found in my collection. It's called Game On from Chi Chi, so I will swatch those. On, I can definitely tell the Chanel one is a wee bit creamier. They have the same finish in terms of appearance, like this one still looks quite glossy, so you really can't tell once it's on. Of course the major difference between them is the price. This is about $20 in New Zealand, which is like the price of our drugstore makeup here. This I got in duty free, I think it was about $60 New Zealand, so again, big old price difference and the exact same. Next dupe I found is for Vegas Vault from MAC, which I was very excited about because you guys know I love this lipstick. But again, it's $40 in New Zealand. It's just a really cool, not neon coral, it's like dark, but it's also a neon, it's really hard to describe. But you've probably seen me wear it if you're subscribed to me. And I discovered my NYX Round Lipstick, another NYX Round Lipstick. These are great, they have so many shades, there's like 40 shades, I swear. Uh, the shade Hot Melon or Hot Melon, it's like spelt all couture, is very, very similar. This one is not as slippery as Strawberry Milk from NYX. Yeah, can't see any visible differences, they don't feel any different. Next I have a few reds to mention. One is an orangey based red I use all the time. And then the second one is a blue based red. Both, actually no, one's from MAC, one's from YSL. And then I have the dupes. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about how I whiten my teeth because particularly with these two I'm about to show you, the orange base and the red can really throw your teeth off and make them look super yellow. I always see in the comments you guys asking me how I whiten my teeth or if there's certain lip colors you can wear that make your teeth look whiter. And the second red dupe I'm going to show you, not this one, is blue based. So that really does help your teeth stand out and make them seem whiter. Um, but if you do want to wear colours like this, it's probably better to whiten your teeth to be honest because I cannot wear these unless I'm using whitening products. And it's a sad time when you're a lipstick lover and you cannot wear your favourite lipstick. I've never got my teeth professionally whitened either. It's something I would definitely look into in the future. If I could ever afford it, I would. But anyway, I can't afford like a $600 or whatever it is in New Zealand tooth whitening treatment. So I just use whitening toothpaste. Um, the one I use is by Colgate. It's the Optic White Express White Whiter teeth in three days, toothpaste. And I also use the toothbrush and the mouthwash. And the reason I use the mouthwash and toothbrush is because they sent this to me. So I'm just gonna put that out there. I know I wouldn't mention it if I actually didn't genuinely like it. I'm really fussy about those kinds of things. So I hadn't tried these two before, but I really like them, especially the like tongue thing on this. I like how you can clean your tongue once you spit the toothpaste out, because I feel like Sometimes toothpaste gets on your tongue and it feels weird. It's got little um, plastic bits in, so it helps to remove like surface stains. This I don't use every single night. I just like to use it when I want extra freshness, like before an event, or I used it before like Tummer's 21st, for example. Just stuff like that, because it makes my breath feel really nice and fresh. And it also helps the whiteness stay for longer. This is only my first bottle of it. So far I'm liking it. And then the toothpaste I have been using, I want to say at least a year. I don't know how long it's been out in New Zealand. I've been using it ever since it came out basically because I remember seeing the air on TV and then my mum went and bought it and so I got it at Countdown, I remember that. And I think I used it, yeah, it must have been about a year and a half, two years ago. I remember really liking it, made my teeth whiter and then I stopped using it for a couple of months when me and Tama moved out and like moved to Wellington. You know what guys are like, he was like, we don't need fancy toothpaste, we'll just get whatever. So we got something else and then I noticed my teeth getting duller. I was like, nope, I can't do it. And they've reformulated it since I used to use it. And it's even better now. I'm like hooked on it. Seriously, I swear it whitened my teeth even faster this time. And using the Optic White range therefore means I can wear orangey based lip colours, whatever kind of lip colours I want. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Kills two birds with one spo spoon. <laughs> Kills two birds with one so kills two birds with one stone. Which brings me on to the orange based red, which you can only wear with white teeth because it's evil. So you guys guessed it, the high end version is my YSL Rouge Pure Couture in number 13. Talk about this all the time. It's supposedly what Kourtney Kardashian wears as her go to red. That's not why I like it, but it's a fun fact, you know? But Iconic Red from Chi Chi is such a good dupe for it. They're honestly the exact same. They're essentially the exact same product. So 
So there we have those two. As you can see, they essentially look the same on my lips. The formula to apply is a little bit different. Um, I think it's just a reoccurring theme on YSL formulas that they are quite slippery and smooth to apply. So that you really just go zoop zoop and it's on, whereas this you kind of drag a bit more. Once on, they look the exact same. The next dupe is more of a blue based red, so really good if you want to brighten your smile up like I was saying before. Obviously I highly recommend the Optic White, but if you want something absolutely instant like that day, then you can use a blue based red. That's not the right lipstick. Is this one, it's MAC Red from MAC, if you didn't guess that. And the Collection Lasting Color Lipstick in 1-2 Valentine, or I guess 12 Valentine. I don't know why it would be 1-2. And these look kind of different in the stick, but on the lips, they're the exact same, so I'll show you. So there is those two on. I feel like I applied that less than ideally. This makes your teeth look so good. It's like Hollywood movie star white. Oh, <laughs> backsplash. The last dupe is the only one I've seen somewhere else, so I feel like this might be a quite well-known one. But the high-end lipstick is Rebel from MAC, which is a beautiful warm berry purple color and sugar plum fairy from wet n wild which is a couple of dollars you really do need a lip brush or a lip liner for these so excuse the poor application and finally that is those two on so that concludes my high-end lipsticks with drugstore dupes video i spent hours rifling through my collection and finding dupes so i hope you guys really enjoyed it Give it a thumbs up if you did, and if you guys know of any really good dupes, make sure to write them down below so you can help each other out, and I will read through the comments as always. Talk to you guys soon. Bye! Is these ones will. So once you have these, you can kind of expand and get brushes more like this, which are going to just be easier when you're like deepening up your shadows and stuff, but you can use these for everything. I like to pinch them sometimes, and I'll take them under my lower lash line, and they're just really, really versatile. So if you're starting out and you're just wanting two brushes, I would say go for the e.l.f. eyeshadow c brush which is a couple of dollars